Now, President Joe Biden calls on Israel to seek a ceasefire with Palestinians. The White House says the president told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that he expected a significant de-escalation in fighting today. This as the death toll mounts. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, in Connecticut today, President Joe Biden gave the keynote speech at the U.S. Coast Guard commencement ceremony. But before he did that, he increased the pressure on Israel to end the violence. But tonight it appears Israel will forge ahead on its own. Ten days of heavy fighting between Israelis and Palestinians showing no end in sight. A White House statement says President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had a detailed discussion on the state of events in Gaza, Israel's progress in degrading the capabilities of Hamas and other terrorist elements, and ongoing diplomatic efforts by regional governments and the United States. Despite that conversation, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu released a statement saying, I especially appreciate the support of our friend U.S. President Joe Biden, but said Israel will push ahead to restore quiet and security to you, citizens of Israel. Republican Senator Rick Scott of Florida said the president, quote, has to get a backbone. Stop giving money to the Palestinians and stand up for the greatest ally we have in the Middle East, Israel. This past year, there can be no doubt Class of 21 is ready for whatever its mission may be. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden congratulates the Coast Guard Academy class of 2021 and told them the world is changing, saying the nation is at a significant inflection point in world history. And time and again, we've proven there's not a single thing we cannot do as a nation when we do it together. And I mean that, not a single solitary thing. And going forward, the president challenged the 240 young cadets. Class of 2021, it's time for you to go out and be the future. Now back to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Hundreds of people have died in the last 10 days because of the fighting, among them children. And clearly tonight, President Biden and the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu are not seeing eye to eye. And for now, the war in Gaza continues. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.